good morning children welcome to social science class so today we will continue the previous class so in the previous class what we were studying children we were discussing about the new social and the political groups right so during this 700 to 1715 so in this time period so many new groups people they were shifting one place to another place right so what happens there was the formation of the new groups of the people right so among them the one group of people has got dominated so that is called as rajputa so uh, the last class we have discussed about the meaning of even the rajputa right so the rajput the word came by the meaning of rajaputra the son of king right so this is how today we will continue the thing so that is that the code of a chivari code a chivari code of conduct so the discussion we will continue this is the discussion upon the rajputas so here what happens uh, the word will come that is chivalry code of conduct right so what do you mean by the chivalry code of conduct so this is nothing but uh, so this is like a prize given by the people to the particular group the group of a community so what happens so the entire title to given to the group of people so we were discussing in the sense what about the rajput we were discussing so why the word has come in between this group of people right so what is that the chivalry code of conduct is to the the prize given by this other community people other group of people to this rajput because the people who were the qualities such as an extreme while the those the people were very brave and a great sense of loyalty right so i i told you many of the group were uh, you know um, establishing group were becoming so among the those groups so one group has got dominated that is rajputa so the people those who are belonging to this particular group those who are extreme brave they were very brave then a great sense of loyalty so the people those who are having uh, this kind of sense so those the people got the attributed to rajputas to the poets and the bards so what happens so this poets and bards what they have given the name to them they have given the name to them that is the the chivalry code of conduct so for them they have given what is that that is the chivalry code of conduct so in the sense what this this is the kind of prize the people those who are brave for them this this title has given to them people, right so this is how then the similarity to other social group such as a uh, marathas sikhs jats ams then the kshatriyas also emerged as a politically important groups during this period so what happens i told not only a rajputs are here so many groups they were emerging in this time period so for example so other groups are the marathas sikhs jats then the ahoms and the kshatriyas also emerged as politically important so whatever the people they were making the group then after that what happens they have made it a very systematically group of people then what happens after they have started uh, ruling their own places so these are the social group has become the political groups right so during this time period right i hope this you understood this so next one the emergence of the jatis so our next so this group has you know started uh, the social group has become the political groups this is okay 
then our next point is emergency so an emergency of jadis so if you think what do you mean by jadis jadis are nothing but the cash the jadis are nothing but in in english word it is converted into cash right so nowadays we people are mentioning in our you know on the lc are in birth certificates right so what happens so many sub castes in one religion so for example you take in hindu religion there are so many sub castes like lingayat reddies kshatriya right so these are all the you know the categories of the only belongs to only one religion so how it has got started right so actually the god has did not make any kind of a caste system right so according to the god there there is a only two caste one is man and other one is woman but in the society so many religions among the so many religions so many sub castes are we can get to see right so what happened children here how it has got started so in this point we are study how the caste has got started right so before what happened children there were four varnas four varnas first one is brahmana the second one is kshatriya third one is vaishya the fourth one is shudra before this all there were only four varnas varnas are nothing but the castes right so what we are calling here the name of jatis right so for our four varnas the first one is brahmana kshatriya vaishya and shudra right so how they have divided why they were only four because on the basis of their occupation what occupation those people were doing according to the occupations they have divided the you know the categories so for example you take the brahmanas so what is the occupation of the brahmanas the brahmanas are nothing but the priests the people those who made the worship of god and goddess those are called brahmanas right so in the olden days in the ancient days what what was happening children they were only knowing this sanskrit language sanskrit language is like official language only known by the brahman people right so brahman community so this is the occupation of the brahman then the second thing what is the occupation of the kshatriya kshatriyas are the group of the people the kshatriya are only they they are in the military group right they are only soldiers kshatriyas are nothing but they were soldiers they are only meant for the to make wars even the king is also known to this including king all the soldiers were belonging to the community of kshatriya the second second one the third one is vaishya so vaishya is means uh, we are studying about the occupations then what is the occupation of the vaishyas the vaishyas are nothing but the people those who makes uh, the for, farmer all the farmer people those who make the agriculture then uh, the people those who make the business right those all the people right so they are including in this group that is called as vaishya the third category of the third Uh, no section of the one. Then the fourth one is Shudra. 
what is shudra shudras the group of community the people those who were helping for this three one two and three right so these shudra people they must help to these three community people right so whatever they are calling they are calling in the name of st and st right so what happens they were called as shudra so here before this uh, these four varnas has got started on the basis of their occupation right so this is what four varnas then what happens those are uh, next so how the first you should know how the group of people they have made how they have become as a community group right so what happened children here the clearing of the forest so i say you in one area so you think this is the area in this area some group of people they were staying here some of group, group of people they were staying here even here so and here they made as a group then the group will move to complete to the forest then what happens they cut it the how many trees in this areas they cut it how much area they wants to stay they wants to make uh, their premises then they were stay so what happens this is the complete forest so four groups they have set their uh, no the livelihood in the different places they were cutting the forests right so after what happens so this the community after developing the communities so what happens they have completely cut all the forest so the forest has got cut completely then what happens there was no forest only the group of people so this is what happening so this is called clearing the forest in the huge forest before very less people they were staying they cut how much trees they want but after that what happens so the group was becoming bigger so how the group was becoming bigger so they have started cutting the most of the trees then so what finally what happens the they have cleared and completed the forest then they have made it as a you know uh, a city right so then what happens after the forest the complete area has become a city right so this is what the change in the habitat of the forest dwellers so this is what we can call it dwellers so the people those who are cutting and staying in the forest those were called as dwellers right so what happened uh, change in the habitat of forest so completely they have changed forest as a city then started tilling the land and becoming the peace surface so after what they have done first they have completely cut the forest then it has made it as a city then what happens in the particular place they have started their farming the so this much area has taken by someone else then this much area and this much area has formed by someone else in the sense they have made it as a land then they have started the you know agriculture in this different places right so the next is society slowly they started influencing the society and became the part of large com- complex of a societies so what happens so these group of people they have made it a group then here there is a group then here a group so these small groups has become a, a big city so these are the influencing in the society became a part of large complex so these are the parts has become a large complex of the one society right so in this way before uh, there was no societies no cities no villages were formed 
what happens the group of people they were staying in the forest they were cutting the trees then after what they have done they have got uh, together they have started the agriculture then by after that the all the areas had got influence of the society right so this is what now it has become a one society now this is the one society then what happens a economic and social differences so what happens i said so these group of the member and these are the group of the member these are the group of people group of the people they were staying together they were staying together in a only one society but even though there were lot of the differentiation between economic and the social right so what i said so these group of people what happens uh, they had a lot of money compared to these three groups right they were rich then what happens uh, how they have become rich then they have started discrimination to these three you people are not you know belonging to our community we people are a little greater than to you right started the discrimination between each group of the people in only one society then what happens economic and this is called as economic and social uh, the differences with a more differentiated society people were grouped into a jatis and sub caste so after this whatever the differentiation in the economic and societies so after this this group has become as one caste then this group of people has became one category then this one has became a caste then this group has become a different caste so after this is what the influence in the caste right so in this way the caste was never seen then jatis and sub castes so then what happens if you think these people are belonging to the brahman family so they told we people are the brahmins right so their education so what happens in only one brahman community again they have made the sub groups these are different kind of brahmins these are different and these are different and these are the different kind of brahmins they have become so this is what the sub castes right so next jatis were grouped on the basis of their background and their occupation right how the jatis have got divided children on the basis of their occupation then on the basis of their category isn't it so just now i have given the group basis on their background how the background their background was if the background is completely poor they can't make even the uh, no, uh, agriculture in the land so what happens all the complete poor people they were belonging to shudra right so shudra what was the occupation then they don't have any kind of occupation what kind of occupation they have got children they have got the occupation of helping to other all the groups all the so they itself themselves they have belong to shudra right so this is what uh, with more differentiated society people were put into jatis and sub caste right so next uh, these groups were a uh, base on their background and their occupation occupation is nothing but work what the work they were doing next the ranks were not fixed permanently but in the ancient time children so here there is a small difference here so what is that so if the one person is belonging to this kshatriya right so if he is not comfortable with his society he is not feeling good in the community of the kshatriya he may change his community he may become the brahmin right he may become the vaishya he may become the shudra so this is what he may change his the group of the community right so it is not a permanent and not fixed then after after few days this is going to fix and the permanent post right they have got it but in this situation in the beginning it was not like that 
they can change their the categories right ranks were not fixed to permanent game. the states of the same jatis could vary from of the area to area so what happens here uh, if you think this is a society then the same thing here also there was one society so these are the two societies so in this on the basis of occupation so many jatis and sub castes over there the here also same was going on in the area to area the 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 people will be completely changed even the caste system also completely changed right so even the 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 caste was not permanent then it was not a uh, or they they must not follow they can change their community right so what the state of the same jatis could uh, no vary from the area to area so the jatis were changed in the compared to one city to another society jatis formed their own rules and regulations so after what happens then uh, i told you in this one society brahmana vaishya kshatriya and shudra in these four communities one two three and four so what happens before there were a, there was a no no panchayat raj no rules regulations was there right so on the basis of only occupation they have got divided so after many years what was happening children they have made it some rules for the province so this group of community they have made more rules from the province from them the kshatriya even they have made some rules then here shudra here vaishya all the categories people all the caste people what they have done they have made it rules of the you no know, uh, for the particular caste uh, formed their own rules and regulations to manage the conduct of their members for what reason they have made it children because they want to manage the complete caste so caste in the sense uh, the, the group of members so many people were there right belonging to the same caste so the some of the people those who are being governed governed by the group of people those people wanted to control complete uh, the group of caste so for this reason what they have done they have made it the uh, you know the to manage uh, the rules and regulations they have brought some rules and regulations to the particular uh, the group of caste so were enforced by an assembly of the leaders so what happened children uh, so group of group people after that they have started electing the members right so they they used to make uh, you know the meeting then in that meeting they must announce to make ensure these are the our representative these are the leaders of our castes right so this is what the caste system has got started before there was a no caste the group of the people they were staying in the same society so after what happened children so after they have got all the trees then the all the small groups they have become the uh, complex in the one society but the same society on the basis of economic and social differences on the basis of occupation and the background uh, they have got control their their castes but the castes was not permanently but compared to other cities the caste will be completely changed then after that what happens there was a before no rules after the event they have started the even the rules for the to control the complete uh, caste right jatis were also required to follow the rules of the villages so governed by the chief tan so what happens uh, whatever the people those who elected by the all the caste people those who uh, got the post of you know governor the people those who are governing some of the leaders right so jatis were also required to follow the rules of the villages then what happens first they have made it rules for their own community then the same community they should follow what are the rules of the villages so in the villages even the rules were made it in the complete society so group of the people they must 
follow their uh, rules of their community then even the rules of the society they must follow right so this is what uh, today's I, I, I am going to conclude this video then tomorrow next class we will continue further discussion thank you